What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right, just making a very quick video here for those of you who want to transfer your plots from Hive Engine into the game safely. Now, this is the safest way that I know how, uh, but I have to just, I, I've tested it once, and um, it's, it's still a little nerve-wracking, but I did get it successful once. So I have two plots. I've transferred one over, and you can now see when we go to the game that uh, the land plot claim is showing here. Now, when you already have a land plot claim in the game, I believe you can go in and just hit transfer. Uh, or well, maybe not transfer. Maybe it'd be tokenize. Here you go. And so you can select Hive Engine and then deposit into the game and it can it can show. But when you don't have any land already in the game, it won't pop up here, which is really annoying. And I feel like this is something that should have changed a long time ago. So what I used is bswap. Now this is going to be bswap.dcity.io. So let me just take out the convert here. And if you Go to there, uh, you'll see the same kind of like, or, or very similar to Tribal Dex uh, form here, and then you can go and log into your account. So for me, that's my main account. Where you wanna go from here is Wallet, and then Hive Engine. And this is gonna show you, similar to you know your Hive Engine wallet, uh, at least this is the, the outlay that I like to look at for from Hive Engine directly, but it'll show you everything that you have in your Hive Engine wallet. And they have a fantastic little button here, so you can see plot. They have a fantastic little button here that says transfer tokens to Splinterlands wallet. So if you don't have any in the game, I would highly recommend using this. You can hit max, you can type in however many you have, and all you do is you hit transfer plot to Splinterlands. Now. Today, uh, the update that happened earlier today, and I'm recording this on October 18th, so the Tuesday update that happened uh, was the one that is giving uh, rewards for SPS, I'm sorry, SPS rewards for both tower defense packs as well as the uh, as land, so obviously that's why we're covering land. Um, so as we go here, now you can see that I have received one plot, let me go ahead and refresh this page, and we should be able to see two land plot claims here. Now, I already have my Nightmare Packs, don't I, somewhere? Yeah, so I already have my Nightmare Packs in the game, but uh, I believe, well, you know what, I, I'm not sure. But we'll, we'll keep this just for land for now. I don't think it's as difficult um, if you were to buy packs off the secondary market. Again, I haven't bought any packs off the secondary market. I bought them in, in game, so they're already showing up in here. But... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make a separate video. Sorry, I, I wasn't prepared to talk about the Nightmare Packs. But that is also, if you go over to the SPS page, you can see now that they have their rank rewards, license rewards. But right beneath that, you will see land rewards and nightmare rewards. So this is going to be ongoing for however long until land releases and uh, and nightmare uh, or the tower defense game releases and this happens once a day so this usually populates for me uh, i am u.s central time 7 p.m so 7 in the evening is when this usually populates and i think that is probably going to be the same for everybody around the world so you know if you're wondering why it's not accruing just know that it comes in once a day and it's probably going to come in at the same time although that will be confirmed for me in a little bit over an hour here so that's all i wanted to keep in this video or put into this video for you I, like I said I wanted to keep it short so hopefully this is helpful uh, for those of you who might be wanting to get in on land now or buy it off the secondary market which again is the only place that it is available this is a safe and easy or the safest and easiest way that I have come across to transfer land in so hopefully that was helpful for you guys let me know if you have any questions otherwise I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game take care